It's time for the Northwoods Cooking Show. Starring Uncle Roy and Miss Callie, the troublemaking dog. Hello and welcome to the Northwoods Cooking Show. I'm your host, Uncle Roy. And today we're going to be making some fun salads again. This is going to be for summertime. These are going to be wonderful, uh, delicious pasta salads and spreads that you can put on sandwiches, etc. Wonderful, wonderful. So first of all, in my bowl here, I'm going to mix my salad. I cooked off one pound of rotini noodles. Now you want to make sure that when you cook off your pasta, make sure it's well drained because on any excess water is going to make your dressing uh, watery. So you must want to drain that well. <coughs> Excuse me. In my dressing, I have one cup of mayonnaise with one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and you mix that thoroughly together. Now to the pasta, we're going to be adding a half cup, I've uh, got chopped onion here, onion, uh, dill pickles, and green pepper, a half cup of each. And you can just uh, rough, drain off some of that liquid so you won't get a runny salad. You can just like rough chop on your cutting board if you want to, or you can just use your uh, I got a mini food processor mixer chopper and just pulse it. So we got a half cup each of green pepper, half cup of onion, and a half cup of dill pickles. Now also to this we're going to be adding four hard boiled eggs that are rough chopped. I got one small jar, the two ounce jar of pimentos. Put that in there. Boy, it took me forever to find the pimentos in the grocery store. I'm looking by the canned olives. You would think pimentos by the olives, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> by the pickles, no. <laughs> They're not in that section. They were in the second aisle um, over by the uh, canned mushrooms. <laughs> Every place is different you go to, I tell you, it's just a dry gin. <laughs> it's going to get used to your local store. And then we have uh, one can, large can of black olives. And these are drained also. Now you can slice them if you want to. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends on what I'm making. I love olives. And that is it. Oh, and the two. And then we add a tuna. Now, I got, you can leave this uh, as a vegetarian dish if you want to, or you can add tuna, which I'm going to be doing. And I have two cans of tuna here. Now, I took and put my tuna in the strainer, and then I take and I just press down and get all that excess water out so that it's more dry. It's not going to be as wet when you make your salad. So then your salad won't be, you know, water and watery. And then we'll just put in our dressing. Mm -hmm. You can smell that vinegar. Smells good. And maybe that goes in recyclables. And then a little salt and pepper to taste. I did have a pepper mill, but it broke. <laughs> so I was going to use my regular pepper. And then salt to taste. And I always use kosher salt because it's lighter and less sodium than iodized salt because it's flaked rather than ground. And then we'll just take and toss this all together. 
and I can just leave this right in this bowl and I'll just cover it with saran wrap and you just let that chill completely in the refrigerator. And that's all you've got to do. It's very simple. The only time it takes to prep is to cook off your noodles, your noodle yulies, <laughs> and to cut up your vegetables. But now this pasta salad is just great by itself. Or you can serve it in lettuce cups. There's some, maybe some toast down the side. Some toasts. Yeah, well, I can't really early look for toasts. I remember that. <laughs> Well, that's all we all have to do for our salad. And of course, now we're just put this in the refrigerator now and let this chill. And at the end of the show, I'll have all of our dishes together in a display. So this will be our tuna summer pasta salad. to making a chicken salad. This is really delicious. Now, I have two cups of cut up chicken into larger chunks and one cup of diced celery. Now for my chicken, I just took and made it myself. I bought two chicken breasts and I just took and put those in a pot of water and bring those to a boil, add a few peppercorns, uh, a couple bay leaves maybe, and bring that to a boil. And then just let it poached off until they're done. Approximately eight to 10 minutes. And then I just turned that off and just let it cool down completely. Then I just took my chicken and I drained it, saved the stock and I'll save that juice. You can use that and I just froze that in, put that into a, a Ziploc bag. I did this last night. And so now I got all this, you can see all the peppercorns in here too. Chicken stock for whenever you wanna make soups keeps forever. And then I just take and diced up my chicken. So you can you can also take and buy a diced up cooked chicken if you want to, or you can even buy one of those rotisserie chickens that are already cooked and baked in the grocery stores and just debone that and use up that chicken if you want. There's many different ways of doing it. But anyway, so in my bowl here I have two cups of diced chicken along with my one cup of diced celery. Now to this, I'm gonna be adding one tablespoon of lemon juice. And then that's a little salt and pepper to taste. And I'm all, you know, I always use kosher salt, but you can put in as much or as little as you want to. If you're on a sodium restricted diet, this is the best time where you can take, you know exactly how much you're putting in. Now, also here on the frying pan, I'm heating up that. I'm gonna be putting in approximately a quarter cup of sliced almonds. And I'm going to take and just brown these up, toast, slightly toast these to bring out the essential oils of the, of the nut. And these cook up rather quickly, so you want to keep an eye on them. It only takes about a minute or so. It's just like if you do something else and you're like, oh, okay, I'll do this and whatever, they burn real quickly. So you just want to keep an eye on it. Like, come on, come on, and then all of a sudden, boom, made it brown real fast. Mm 
I can kind of hear a little sizzle, a little crackle. And I'm going to take those off because I don't want to overcook these. And that's about a quarter cup. I can smell it now. <laughs> mm, I love that smell of almonds. <laughs> then to this, we're going to be adding a half cup of mayonnaise. And then we'll just toss this together. Now some people would take and do half mayo and half sour cream. That's totally up to you. You can do that if you, want, if you prefer that type of flavor. But this is just a general uh, all-purpose chicken salad recipe. And then we add two cut up hard boiled eggs to this. Now remember how to hard boiled eggs? Put your cold eggs in your kettle of cold water. Bring that to a boil. And then time it, when it starts to boil, time it for exactly 10 minutes and you get perfect eggs all the time. What I do then is after the eggs are done boiling for 10 minutes, drain off the hot water, keep the eggs in the container, and run cold water over that and then just turn your faucet down to a small trickle and just so that the water is constantly rotating until those eggs become the temperature of the water. Then when you go to peel them, they just slide right off. You don't get that. If you let them cool down without the water, then the membrane seals tight to the egg and then you can't get those eggs peeled. You know how hard it is. <laughs> to peel eggs, oh my God, I hate when that happens. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's just the easy trick to do to, for peeling hard-boiled eggs. Then we just put those in here and fold this into the mixture. And then that is it. Very simple chicken salad. <laughs> now I'm going to take and probably I'll present this at the end here of the show along with the pasta salad. But I'm going to turn these chicken salad and put it on a croissant. We'll have a chicken salad croissant, and we can have tuna pasta salad on the side. And then we can go on to our third salad, which is going to be a shrimp salad. Mmm, that's going to be good. Okay, now for our next salad, we're going to be making a shrimp pasta salad. Now I got the noodle noodles all cooked off here. These are the little green ones, little teeny tiny rings. See? <laughs> drip, drip, drip. Try to get these as well drained as you possibly can. Like I said, any moisture is going to water down your dressings. You always want to make sure to try and get everything as drained as you possibly can. Now, I also have one package of the tiny small shrimps. And I got those on a paper bag, and then I got paper towels on top of that. So I'm trying to absorb as much of the liquid as I possibly can. Because you know, it's, everybody just throws things together, and if you don't pat these dry, 
your dressings become real watery, your salad. It just watery, like, what? I didn't put any moisture in What's going on? You got to make sure you get these padded dry to get all that water out so you don't have a runny dressing. Now I have, uh, this is the one small box of the rings, the tiny, tiny rings. And when you cook this, uh, bring your water to a boil, add your pasta, and you don't have to put in any water, or I mean any oil or salt. Just bring the water to a boil, dump in your small box of the rings. Give it a stir that first minute, you want to stir it two or three different times during that first minute of boiling, and your pasta never will stick. That's good for any pasta. Then, for these tiny rings, you only want to cook it for about six minutes. Overcooking the tiny rings will make it mushy, and everything falls apart and breaks apart. So you want this al dente, which is only about six minutes, on these tiny rings. So they cook up rather fast. Now, I'm also going to put in about a quarter cup, which is like one rib of celery, about a tablespoon of grated onion, because I want it all, I don't want it mushy, but I want it tiny minced. So you just grate it on the grater. And then about a quarter cup of red pepper. And that I minced real finely. Then I got my shrimp here. And I don't have the really teeny tiny shrimp. These are small, but they're large enough so that you have a good enough bite to it. You can see, you get a nice piece of shrimp in there. And that's one package. I just thawed it out in the refrigerator overnight. And then I just took and just patted dry just for now. And that way, everything's all mostly dry. Get rid of that most of that moisture is what you want to try to do. Then I'm going to put in approximately a half cup of mayonnaise. You can always add more, but you can't take it out once you put it in. And then just a little salt and pepper to taste. And like I said, if you are on a low sodium diet, just this is where you control your salt, how much you want to put in, a little or a lot. And then I like to put in a little packet of equal. Because I want this to be on a little sweeter side, but I have the equal. Since I'm diabetic, I don't want all the extra sugar. So this is where I can watch my sugar and salt intake. And then I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of ketchup. And then we'll just mix this all together. And then we're going to let this sit and marinate for at least an hour in the refrigerator. The longer you can let it sit, the better. What happens is now, marinating, this is a nice moist salad. It's good. You can eat it right now if you want to. Sometimes in shrimp salad, you want to eat it right away. <laughs> but the thing is, if you let it sit and marinate for at least an hour, your pasta is going to absorb the mayonnaise dressing that we made. It's going to absorb the flavors of the um, ketchup and the salt and pepper and the moistness that's any in there from your shrimp, etc., is now going to be absorbed into the pasta. So whenever you make pasta salad or potato salad, if you can let that sit for a while, that will take and absorb any excess moisture also. So there we have our shrimp pasta salad. Ooh, I got a sample before I set this in the refrigerator. <laughs> so I'm going to take and just cover this with saran wrap and put that in the fridge. And then we'll be back with the fixings for our salad.
right, so here are our salads for today. This was our first one, the tuna pasta salad. I serve on a, on a lettuce bed with some toast. Next, oh, I also forgot to mention to put in a half cup of shredded cheddar cheese in the mixture. And then I just garnish with a little bit of cheddar on top. And then next over here, we have our chicken salad on a croissant with a little bit of lettuce and a little paprika just for garnish. And over here we have our shrimp salad on a bed of lettuce with some toast in a stuffed tomato. Now you can use stuffed tomato. You could also take and use a half of an avocado and stuff the avocado with your salad also. So I hope you enjoy these wonderful little salads for our summertime bun. Well, I hope you had fun today um, enjoying my uh, summer salads here, the shrimp pasta salad, chicken salad, and tuna pasta summer salad. And I hope you um, have fun making these with the tips I gave you, the easy ways of making things. And they're quick and simple enough to equip together in no time at all. So from the Northwoods Cooking Show, I like to say, eat healthy, be safe, and spread the sunshine. Bye-bye.